welcome. It's mail call day. All this cool stuff just came in the mail today, this afternoon, like Friday, September 27th. It's the day of the big event in Dallas, Texas. The one and only Dallas Pin Show, which is dynamite. So, I want this video to get out all over the United States, all over the world, and broadcast it. Share this video, please. Get the word out. The Dallas Pin Show is today, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday, 27th and 28th. If you can, come on out to the Dallas Pin Show. And while you're there, check out Jim Hines, the custom pin maker who lives here in Texas. And I believe he's in Richardson, I believe. Is that right, Mr. Announcer? Yes. So, yeah, deep in the heart of Texas, Jim Hines. Uh, I believe he makes the pin shows all through the year, so he stays busy. Like he goes like a vato from one essay to another essay all over the place, you know. That's what he does. He travels from one pin show to another, and he makes all these super colossal, great-looking, nice, custom-made pins, and then he sells them to you. You, 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 you. So check out Jim. He's a cool guy. Get to meet him. Get to know him. And uh, ask him questions about pins, and he'll give you the answers you may be looking for. So... Another thing is, Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution is there as well. Check out Kevin's table because if you haven't yet checked out his Himalaya fountain pens, you need to do that quickly. Awesome Himalaya fountain pens. His nibs are very nice as well. And his gold nib that he has out now are really some nice nibs. I've done the review on the uh, number 5 size gold nib and the number 6 size gold nib. Both really sweet. Plus, he has that Ultra Flex, I think it's called, steel nib, which is dynamite. It lays down the ink. If you're one of those like me, and you like that ink to lay down, and you like to flex your nib some, hey, check out Fountain Pen Revolution. It, they're not paying me to say this. I'm just saying it because since I am a pen enthusiast, that's what I do. I like to inform people, let them know what's happening, and the Dallas Pen Show is happening, and Dr. James McCarthy from the Fort Worth Pen Club. One of our members, he'll be there with uh, some of his uh, compadres, and uh, they have a table set up, and he'll be selling some of his very nice, well-kept fountain pens with his other friends. So go by there and see Doc, really nice guy, takes care of his pens. So if you want a used quality pen, in excellent condition, then check out Doc's pins. He'd be there as well. A lot of stuff happening there. Tomorrow, Mr. Announcer and myself will be there around 9 in the morning. I'll be making my list out, and uh, I'll be checking out the Retro 51. Uh, I'm looking for a couple of bottles of uh, Blackstone ink. Uh, I know uh, Blackstone uh, is it uh, Blue Reef or something like that? I have to look it up. And there's another one I want that I really like. So, uh, and then there's one that uh, uh, Noodler's uh, Army Green, Frank Overman reminded me of that color of ink. So, yeah, you know, I like some green inks. I like some rich deep rich inks I like the greens that pop so kind of like this beautiful 
Rich, uh, uh, Wing Song 30, uh, <clears throat> 13. I believe it's the 30-13. Yeah, uh-huh. Really a nice, beautiful uh, fountain pen. And they write well. I have the blue one, and i got a purple one coming in, so I'm excited. So, anyway, that's what's happening. So, now let's get to the pin mill, okay? So, here we go. I've really got some cool stuff going on. Before I get that, one more thing. I found my... 1950s, 1960 Schaefer fountain pen. Oh, it was in my pen drawer. Oh, I've been looking all over the place for this. It is really a cool fountain pen because it reminds me back in my days. This is a fine nib, and I'm starting to dig fine nibs. Not all fine nibs I like. No, it, it's just ones that are wet and smooth. So, now, mwah, and I didn't pay much for it, but for me, it's not how much I pay for the pen. It's how well the pen writes. Mwah. All right, here we go. First box of the day. I'm Joshua. Mmm, standard craft goods. Okay, what in the world is this? Because, you know, I have forgot what it is, but I hope it's something Cool. and I'm all excited and you can ask Mr. Nanta that's all I've been talking about have I not? Yep. and it is, look at here I did a review on the Nimbuson uh, I think maybe a week ago or so in fact here's one of my Nimbusons right here oh, broad nib loved it and I have another one as well, right here. Beautiful fountain pens, they write well. So, here is, I like them so much and they're on sale, so I got three more. And uh, I'll let Mr. Announcer have the privilege of uh, just reading them off. Here, here's how they come back in the box. Go ahead. Okay, we have the Walnut Singularity. Okay, let's see if I can find that right here, I believe. What size nib on that? 1.1 stub. All right, let's look at that real quick. Very awesome, very cool. All right, that's a beautiful color. Really a nice color. Okay. Next is the Graphite Fission Fine Nib. I'm going to think this probably is going to be it. Fine Nib, let's see. Nope. That okay, is not. that that one would be the nickel fission. Okay, this is the nickel fission. Yeah. Okay, this is the nickel. Very nice. And that's a medium nib. Yes, very nice. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. And this is the what? Graphite fission. Here is the graphite. So I'm thinking this is also a graphite. This is the broad nib, and this is a should be a fine, fine nib. Okay. So I can't wait. To ink these babies up fine uh, I don't know why it took me so long to pull the trigger but uh, I'm glad I did I'm glad uh, uh, one of my uh, pen pal buddies subscribers I believe it's Ryan that uh, let me know about these pens because uh, they were on sale and it was a kind of sale that you didn't want to pass up it was like almost for nothing so, ah, right, here we go. Isn't this fun, 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 fun? Okay, let's open up this one. All right. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Here we go. All right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What in the world is this? Okay. Here we go. It could be some parts I need for a pen. I ordered some parts for a pen BBS, I believe. And that's what they are. Well, in fact, they're nibs. Mm, right. 
Get this tape off there. They come really packed in bubble wrap so these nibs won't get bent. And here are the nibs. They just screw in and that's all there is to it. Uh, I got the whole nib unit that screws in and then I got a couple of extra feeds as well. So that's going to be very cool. So put that in my goodie box. Now we'll go to last but not least in this package. Here we go. Ah, there it is. The Monteverde and I'll let Mr. Announcer give the name once. I'll let you do that right now while I get rid of this. Okay, this looks like Aldo Damani. Okay, make sure get everything cleaned off. Okay, Aldo Damani. Okay, that'll work. Ah, and here it is. I do love the Monteverde pin cases. They, for me, cool. Love them. Let's open this pin up. Look at that. All right. And it comes with a couple of cartridges. Your warranty card tells you about the pin. And I like the color black. You know, the colors I like are the black, the greens, some of the reds, maybe some of the orange, but blue is my main color. Uh, some of the swirls are okay depending what they are, but uh, this is a real nice stunning fountain pen. And this is a fine nib that I got. I'm checking the nib out. Fine. Now, my sweet dear friend, Kara Overman, is the young lady that kind of got me started on fine nibs. And like I said previously, I don't really get into fine nibs. And, you know, I do like some of the fine nibs. And uh, as long as they're smooth and not scratchy, as long as they're wet. Uh, so, I have some fine nibs that are really nice, smooth, and really nice and wet. And do a great job putting the ink down to paper. That's going to wrap it up, my friends. Thank you for joining my Larry's Fountain Pens. I'll be, <coughs> excuse me, I will be out there again tomorrow. And uh, if anybody's catching this video and you're going to be out there, leave your comments below. Leave the comments below. Can you dig it? And I'll be checking them out today. Well, I've got to go. I've got to Check my list, got to check it twice, and get ready for tomorrow. Really big show. I'm going to be hooking up with Jim Hines for a bit, and then for just a little bit with Kevin from Fountain Pen Revolution, and anybody else that uh, has time for a quick video. Dallas Fountain Pen Rocks. Talk to you guys later. Take care. Have a great, wonderful day at the, at the pen show. Have a blast. Hey, it's your time to shine out there at all the cool stuff that us pen enthusiasts do. And remember, don't text and drive. God bless everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>